Sample distillation. For distillation, the following equipment is required. Two stands, an isomantle, a support jack, clamps, plastic clamps, two lengths of tubing, a distillation or round bottom flask, the distillation head, a thermometer, a glass adapter for the thermometer, a Liebig condenser, a bent adapter, an Erlenmeyer flask, grease, stirring rod or boiling chips. Place the stand in the fume hood and attach a clamp to it. A support jack is placed on the foot of the stand. The isomantle is placed on this. The round bottom flask with the sample is fixed into the clamp and the neck is lubricated with grease. Lift the isomantle with the jack until the flask is surrounded by the isomantle. Attach the distillation head to the flask. Place the second stand with a clamp attached to it. Fix the Liebig condenser onto the clamp. Grease the ends of the condenser. Then, attach the condenser to the distillation setup. Ensure that the condenser is positioned at a slanted angle. Secure the whole setup with a plastic clamp. The bent adapter is attached to the other end of the condenser and secured with a plastic clamp. Attach a tube to the lower port of the condenser. This is where the water will enter. Attach the other end of this tube to the tap. The water will flow when the tap is turned on. To drain the water, the second tube is attached to the upper port of the condenser and the other end placed in the sink drain. If the tube doesn't stay in the drain, it can be weighted down by part of a clamp. To collect the distillate, an Erlenmeyer is placed under the bent adapter. If needed, use an extra lab jack if the Erlenmeyer isn't high enough. If your compound is volatile, you can place the Erlenmeyer in an ice bath to prevent evaporation. Place the thermometer into the glass head. First, unscrew the cap and slide it with the rubber ring onto the thermometer. Screw the cap back on. Adjust the position of the thermometer on the distillation setup. Ensure that the bulb part of the thermometer lies in the T-junction area of the distilling head. Now examine the setup. When the support jack is lowered, the flask is not in contact with the heat source. This is important to remember if you want to cool the solution. In addition, make sure that your clamps are tight and that the tubing does not leak when you turn on the water. The isomantle is turned on to stand 7 or 8 to start the distillation process. When your extraction is finished, turn off the isomantle and twist it to lower it away from the flask. This will help to cool the flask down much faster. The sample in the Erlenmeyer or distillation flask is now ready for further use.